I have not committed any crime. I have only exercised my democratic, uh, my demo, democratic, eh? democratic rights. Democratic right. And they keep bullying me. I came on social media. I came to beg everybody to leave me the hell alone. Chef, go. And you can't bully me. 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 I want to die. But before I Hey guys, welcome to Trendy with Zainab. On the trend table today, we have Twin Abraham, and here is why she is trending. The police have arrested a Twitter user named Big Ayo for making defamatory remarks and comments about Twin Abraham. This is the second person that has been arrested um, based on Twin Abraham's reports to the police. Guys, now let's get to the gist. Why is she arresting people? Why are they making defamatory remarks about her? I said I was not going to say anything anymore. But um, there are some things that um, you can't you can accuse me wrongly, and you expect me not to say something. I would not, because they mean only at me. I will never arrest anybody's mother. I never arrested anyone's mother. So everybody knew that. It's a different thing when you commit a crime. It's a different thing when you are a criminal, when you do something bad and people are dragging it and you know that this is time for you to pay for the crime you committed. I have not committed any crime. I have only exercised my democratic uh, my demo, eh? democratic, rights. democratic rights. And they keep bullying me. I came on social media. I came to beg everybody to leave me the hell alone. Chef Ebo, and you can't bully me. Any copy much away, me got if I cool. Any go for cool. Bucking don't cool. Shanbo, more ready at the cool be more. I move a cool. I want to die. But before I die, a lot of you bullies will die together. I have kept quiet. Be much away. You guys have pushed me to the wall. Muti di weary. I want to die. I don't. Any go, I want to die. I wish to die. The way I am, I want to die. Because you guys have pushed me to the wall. I did, I did not commit any crime. I only exercised my rights. I came out, keep telling, begging you guys. I did not collect money. Me or anybody. Me or I, 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 I voted for Jonathan that time. And you guys did what? You bullied me. I've had it up to here. You cost my child. You do everything to my child. I did not arrest anybody's mother. I went to, I wrote a petition. I wrote a petition. From there, they said I should go to the cyber crime. I got there. I wrote a petition. I gave them the Andrew. I gave them the screenshot. The reason why I didn't ask, um, I, um, I didn't put Anthony because Anthony did not defame me or boo up or say something. Anthony only abused me. And I, re I, I abused Anthony back. Every other thing. You said I collected money. I have said it. I need them to prove I collected money. You said you will pay my child. Guys, the truth will come out very soon. These people were paid money to bully me, to ruin my career down, to ruin my life down. I have not committed any crime. The only crime I have committed is exercising my right. So me or my fear is gone. Be Moshe why I am ready to die. I, you guys have pushed me. I am go for cool. But before I die, I will make sure that everybody that bullied me, everybody that defend me, me or neither. So I'm ready. I am so ready. I did not do anything. I, nobody came to call me out for doing anything. I have never done anything. I've been nice to people. I've been a good citizen. The only crime I committed in my life right now is that I supported another person. And you guys wanted me to support another person. That's the thing. And times with that number, I'm for bond up Sorry, sorry, me, oh, mommy. So guys, the whole thing started last presidential election. Tony Brown was very vocal, very unapologetic about supporting Tinubu at that time even at some point she made several posts about the fact that Tinubu shared some of his ideas and some of the plan he has for Nigeria and the youth and for that reason she's going to support him because I mean he has great plans right so of course the youths were looking they were just they just stayed one side and you know observing and just looking at her um fast forward to, to, to fast forward to 2024 which is now i mean the economy is not smiling prices of goods um and foods prices of everything in fact has doubled has tripled you know every everywhere is just dry basically 
So the youths are angry, everybody's angry, and they decided to pour it on Toyin Abraham. Was Toyin Abraham or is Toyin Abraham the only person, the only celebrity that supported Tinubu? No, she wasn't the only person that supported Tinubu. But I don't know why people are, you know, really, really angry with her. And as a result of all that, they throw her, they bully her. Um, they defame her online and guys, it, 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 I mean, it has even gotten to her husband, to her, to her child, to her family. And it's just, you know, it's really sad just seeing all of that. Um, so, so last week and even before last week, she has always been very vocal about the fact that they should leave her husband and her, um, child. In fact, they should leave her family out of the matter that she was the one who voted for Tinubu. So let them face her. If they want to insult her, they should insult her. They should leave her family out of the whole business, you know. So last week she came online and said she was going to start arresting people because it was getting out of hand. Um, so one Twitter user at that point was like, Oh, she should use him as a scapegoat. And guess what? Doreen Abraham used him as a scapegoat. She went to the police, reported, and the, um, the police arrested that particular Twitter user. Fast forward um, to yesterday, she also arrested somebody who made a tweet about her um about her about her son. And here is how the tweet went. The person said, Mrs. Toyin Abraham Walai Aye Aye Etita, you collect any woman money you do hair transplant for your husband stupid fool guys so this is clear defamation the person has lied against her the person had has defamed her character her character stating that she collected money stating that she collect she was bribed to vote for tinubu and also cajole like you know people to vote for him as well so yesterday another battle started a twitter user went online and said it's one thing to make a, a tweet and you arrest me it's another thing to arrest me for not even making a single comment and tagged her you picked my mom up from her shop to panty police station for something i didn't even for something i didn't even do god will judge you so toyin um replied and said lying on my head comfortably now the world won't see this if i react now they will say something else i never arrested your mom your friend ayo was arrested for bullying and cursing and defaming my family and mom uh, and mommy went there saying she wouldn't live without him i even did video call with your mommy and she told me i should please forgive ayo and i did video call with you too but you still come to twitter to defame me again lying that i arrested your mom knowing fully well i didn't do that also another twitter user also went ahead to say that hello toyin abraham you will have to send the police to pick all of us you are very shameless you can abuse and call me toyin replied you can abuse and call me names it's fine like i said i will accept and take it in because i am the public eyes but but cursing kids and lying is what i would not accept and lastly i never i will never arrest anyone's mom i made a report to the cyber crime unit as a citizen and they got to arrest your friend um she went ahead to say i also made a report cause that threat to life and course and threat to my family were beyond what i can take as for me abuse me insult me please say anything to me please Whew. Um, she also went ahead to respond to a few people, to, to a few other people. Um, there was one that said, call your police to release him and sue him to court. That's due process. That's civility. Mm, then Toyin replied and said, my police, I don't have one. I just wrote my petition and nothing more. Another Twitter user went ahead to say, just blatant abuse of power. Just pure crap that country is. Toyin responded and said, abuse of power. By making reports of defamation and threat to my life, we learn every day. I'm just learning. She responded another person that also said, um, look at the way you are replying someone you cannot oppress with money or influence. Shameless bully. Toy went ahead to reply and said, that's how I reply everyone. I even send DM. I'm just like everyone. I only get mad when you involve my family. So abuse me from now till next year. It's fine. But leave my family out of this mess.
guys another thing that people are also saying is that david o Whiskey, other celebrities funky akindele get attacked get trolled get insulted get harassed online but they don't do anything about it but twain on the other hand is using the police to come and arrest people the same people that will watch her movie so this is what me i have to say right because i mean i'm doing a movie and i want you people to watch it i would now take the disrespect and the harassment that you are giving to my family just because I want to sell movie. Because the other artists, David O. Whiskey, Funke Akindele and all that, because they are taking it, does not mean that every other person has to take it. If they can't take it, let them do what they need to do. My only problem here would be, okay, Toy, maybe you should have just served him court papers instead of getting the police to arrest the guy. But what Toy said, she said she did not tell any police to arrest um, the guy, right? She just went to report and they were the ones who arrested him but other than that i mean you can't you can't keep trolling you can't keep harassing people and saying that all as, other other celebrities do not do not um go this road but you yeah i mean i don't i mean nah it doesn't mean what twain is doing is wrong in fact what she's doing is right because she exercised her right like every other person right and of course we've probably made wrong decisions in the in the past right she didn't know she didn't have she i mean she was not a soothsayer to know that <laughs> tinubu's regime would be so bad so i mean i just think that toyin should just meh, i don't know just temper temper justice with mercy or like they said just serve him court papers let's even see what will come out of it so because the person that was arrested yesterday is very big on Twitter, a lot of people know him, a lot of influencers know him, of course they are supporting him and you know just behind his back saying, in fact they've started a hashtag that has gone viral and the hashtag is free ayo they forgotten that the cyber um crime act of Nigeria states that any person who sends messages with the intent to harass blackmail bully or threaten another individual in such a way that causes fear of death violence and anxiety may be convicted of a jail sentence between five to ten years a fine between 50 million naira and 25 million naira or both imprisonment and fines okay so this is their case a lot of people are saying that the police are doing um the police is doing the dirty work for Twain Abraham that she's supposed to go th go through um, due process, first serve him court papers, and then they take the matter um, to court in to court instead of just getting the police to arrest him like that. So they are saying that it is wrong, and she's using the police to bully and also to oppress um, the big ayo in question. So guys, what do you think about this whole issue? I mean, I definitely understand to in Spain. That's how that's why she had to go on live to just, you know, express herself and it was really, you know, emotional for her getting all this um backlash as well because they've even gone so far they are threatening and planning to send emails to netflix nigeria netflix um you know worldwide worldwide next netflix global they are planning to send messages um and emails to them saying that um just giving bad reviews about twin imako um twin abraham and also stating that her movies um have bad reviews stating that they should take down her movies from the platform stating that she is bullying and you know she is oppressing someone or a lot of youths in nigeria and it's really really sad to see and like i said that's why twin had to go live she's like she can't take it anymore in fact she should she wants to die because i mean this is getting too much the heat is too much for her she just exercised her rights like everybody else that why should she be the one to bear the brunt of this whole thing she was not the only one that voted for tinobu and she was not the only one that was very vocal about it but why are people coming for her Whew, guys what do you think about this whole issue like i said i definitely understand where she's coming from because i mean when you see your family being threatened online being harassed online is very very painful even very very difficult to ignore as well so i definitely understand her a great deal but again i feel like i mean since the is the due process to serve him court papers right okay serve him court papers let's even see what's going to happen if he's guilty 
as charged and of course she has like evidence i mean he's going to face <laughs> he's going to face the consequences right but i mean i don't know what's going to happen is she going to release him um is she going to still leave him there because according to him she just reported to um, according to her she reported to the cyber act um cyber cyber crime um department of the police and they took it up from there it's not like she asked the police to go and arrest anybody oh wow um i don't know i i just pray that this whole matter is you know settled because the way they are really um pumped and ready to just send emails to netflix to they're even planning to report all her social media pages is really really sad to see because again she exercised her rights right and she did not force anybody to vote for Tinubu at the end of the day so you cannot really you know hold her if you want to even do this kind of thing or you are doing to everybody that campaigned for Tinubu but I mean I just hope that it's being sorted out and she gets her sanity back because it's like she's losing it already she's tired she's fed up and yeah what do you guys think about this whole issue let's know what you think in the comment section below i definitely do not support cyberbullying in fact i detest it with all of me hiding be hiding behind um your keypad insulting trolling people that have done nothing to you but i definitely understand nigerians as well you know the economy is is bad really bad but at the end of, at the, end of the day is she is she tunubu <laughs> is she is she tunubu at the end of the day right so um let me know what you think in the comment section below guys give this video a very big thumbs up um subscribe like thank you so much for watching see you all in the next one bye